Hey everybody, this is Mike with Birdman Gaming, and let me get this adjusted just a little bit. We're going to go ahead and open this Innistrad Midnight Hunt bundle that I picked up today from my local Walmart. Um, let's see. Mm, I think that should do it. As you can see, it's still sealed. You can hear that spin down in there, which I'm actually excited for because it's a glow in the dark spin down. Um, so always be careful with scissors, even though these are old and rusty, even more so. <laughs> um, cut away from the body because, well, that's only smart. Um, so, I opened a collector's pack uh, a couple days ago. Well, it'll be over a week ago when this goes live. Um, for me, it's only been, like, it was Wednesday, and today's Friday. Um, the set's officially been out for a week as of today. As Joey Moss would say, don't steal. Stealing's bad. And so you get your card box. I'm sorry, I, I've only got like a six inch or eight inch tripod, so I'm sorry about that. I'm still working on trying to get a better tripod and whatnot. Um, you get your Harvest Tide which has the uh, phases of Innistrad's Moon. Of course, you get your dice box, essentially. And on the inside of this, you get... It's a... Um, I've seen this in box in pack openings so far. There's always something on the inside of these... Uh, the Modern Horizons one had a Dak and Dak Black Blade. And this is a mask or different styles. Including what you could actually do here. This is a cutout. So, for your Harvest Tide mask. So, what everybody's actually waiting on is the actual contents of the bundle. So, we will get our spin down. Let's see. Uh, 13. 4. <laughs> oh, well. Um, I'm not going to open the land packs just because this will have 20 foil basic lands in this style plus of course the Triska Decophile and that's 20 non-foils I keep the land packs because I uh, the non-foils I usually uh, donate to uh, new players This will have your phases and formats, how to cast spells, and attacking and blocking information. And we have eight set boosters, which is brand new to an Astrod Midnight Hunt. Uh, we are going to have, um, I, as far as I'm aware, uh, set boosters for bundles from here on out on standard legal sets, with the exception of, I think, double feature, but I don't know if double feature will have a uh, bundle or not. So... Um, I'm hoping 
in January. I think it's January 28th. Uh, uh, Innistrad Double Feature will be released, and I'm hoping to be able to pick up a box to open here on the channel. So, without further ado, let's jump into this first booster pack. Um, I do not know if there's a list card in here. I opened it that way specifically for that reason. This is actually a really cool art card. Okay, that's the regular version, the regular art for Denik. I have not actually opened a regular art Denik. I've opened three showcase arts. We have our full art land. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Showcase card. Showcase card. Agissa. That's actually kind of cool. And a dual crafter trainer foil. We always get a foil in these packs. It's possible to hit two if you hit a foil basic. Um, it's possible to hit up to four rares in one of these packs. So, off we go to pack number two. Um, statistically, I should see two cards from the list in here. Of course, I don't get one here, but that's okay. We have an island. And like I was saying before, it is possible to get two foils if you hit a foil basic. Foil Mountain is still a foil. I like it. One, two, three, four, five commons. Infernal Grasp, watch this card. For those of you who play Standard or Pioneer, Watch this card. Instant speed removal is always a good thing. This is unconditional creature removal. As far as it doesn't say power less than or mana cost, mana value less than. It's straight lose two life, destroy target creature. This card's a powerhouse. So watch it. Dreadhound. Mysterious Tome. Sh showcase. And a Shipwreck Marsh, which I now have two of the Borderless of. Um, I think this is my second one of the uh, regular arts as well. And a Foil Might of the Old Ways. Uh, let's go to the other stack. Take a pack. I'm going to open it like I did the first pack and not see if I have a list card. I Like I said, I should get two list cards out of this. Oh, that's cool. With the Planeswalker symbol on it. Um, I've not seen any of the art cards like that before. Dawnheart Rejuvenator. Darren Tan. That's actually really cool. I'll probably set that aside. That's actually... I like that. Planes. One, two. There's our showcase card. Okay, here's what I was saying about the extra rares. This, you can only find, I think, this specific one... No, this is um, from Commander. I'm still not going to deny it. That's cool. And then a Leer. Uh, Non-foil. That's our first Mythic. Barrage. And a List Fireball. From the... Printing of this is from Dual Decks Jace versus Chandra. 
we'll go to that stack again. That stack was actually per, that uh, pack was actually pretty stacked because of the leer and the curse. So fireball, not so much, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna hate on it. Okay, we have don't know who this is. The Dunhart Pride. Okay, cool art card. I want to take a look. Okay, they aren't the errors that I've been seeing. Okay. Forest. One, two, three. First uncommon. Two uncommons. Three uncommons. Another common. And an uncommon. Showcase. Jadar. Mm, nice. And a Ludwig. And a showcase foil Denik. That's my second foil showcase Denik. <laughs> Three rares, though. Even though it's not a lot of money, that's still really cool. <laughs> Set that in my foil stack. Okay, let's go back over here. <laughs> um, I might see one more mythic out of this. Statistically, you get one in eight packs. I think they changed that to one in six now. And you get a list out of every four packs. You get a... Foil Basic, one out of, I think, every four packs. Uh, the signature art se art cards are a little bit higher uh, rarities, so I've seen this art can't stay away. I think I have a foil one of these. Planes. One, two, three, four. Okay, uncommon. Uncommon. Oh, uncommon. Hey, there's our card, Bird Admirers. Uh, I that's uh, my ninth or tenth Bird Admirer. Uh, seventh or eighth of the showcase uh, art. Showcase Storm the Festival and Joey Moss's favorite card. Evolving Wilds, and a list version of Gaia's Will. That's our second list card. So, more than likely, I'm not going to hit another list card. I'm more than likely not going to hit another uh, Foil Basic. And I may not hit another uh, <clears throat> signed art card. So, let's get into pack number four. Six, seven, eight, yeah, six. You get eight packs on, I mean, yeah, eight packs in one of these. They are all set boosters. <laughs> oh, that's cool art. Unblinking Observer. Kind of cool. I'm not running across the swamp I co I'm collecting. One, two, three, four. There's our first uncommon. One, two. This card's really good and limited. One. Okay. We are hitting multiple rares again, which I'm not going to lie, uh, lie. I like it. I have, have one of her already. So, still, good card. Another really good card. And a foil Bat Whisperer. Okay. Yeah, this is almost like my Strixhaven when I had uh, eight. Um, what was it? Village Rights uh, Strixhaven Archive cards. Eight of them. So, yeah. 
None of them foil, but still eight co eight copies of it. Uh, we have Tovalor art card. Not bad, not bad. Mountain. One, two, three, four. Uncommons. One, two. Common, common. Showcase. There's a can't stay away. Foil. Foil showcase of that. I like it. I like it a lot. One thing that's confusing about these uh, set boosters. And I haven't seen anybody uh, talk about it yet. Um, when you open it, your double face card, uh, checklist card, as a Magic the Gathering pack, uh, back. So technically, it could look like you're looking at a list card, and then you get to that. I haven't seen anybody talk about it yet. So, this is me talking about it. And our last pack, which we're sitting at 16 minutes right now, so, oh, the creepy art. I forget which one of my friends said that this is nightmare fuel, but I kind of agree with it. Flesh taker. That is some creepy artwork, sir. <laughs> we have our island. Really good for Popper. Might see some play uh, in constructed uh, other constructor formats as well. Four. Okay. Reaper. Yeah. Common. Okay. And there's another one of our commander cards. Into a hostile, hostile. And a Sunrise Cavalier. I'm not complaining at all. Hostile Hostile is our second mythic. Flips into a Creeping In. Really interesting card. Visions of Duplicity. Sunrise Cavalier. So, our foils, all the shininess, we hit one rare, double face, and one basic, which I'm probably going to put this in my Omnath deck, because I've got two non-foil mountains that I need to start replacing. Okay, our rares. And mythics. Eight packs, okay? One commander card. Mythic. Rare. There's three. Commander. Mythic. Rare. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Everything else. Is just extra as far as the back count is concerned. So that's our second mythic. And that's another commander card. And this is classified as a rare as well. We did actually really well considering on this bundle. I like what I get, got. I like what I'm looking at. Anyway, with all that being said, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think, how I did. I think I did pretty well here. I paid 40 on the bundle. I know I can get it cheaper on Amazon, but I wanted it today so I can open it tonight and have this go live next week. 
Um, and I think I at least broke even. I might have made a dollar extra. I don't know for certain until I actually do the research. Um, but with all that being said, remember, as always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.